Today, I'm going to meet Hilde. She had the idea together with Marike of the Global Academy, which by the way, is still an idea. We have to find some funds. She worked as a baker, she worked as an actress, she's beautiful, and I'm going to meet her to focus on two things. On one end, we are going to focus on what the Global Academy is all about. On the other hand, we are going to give you some tips on how to start your own academy. Okay, tell us where we are right now, Hilde. Uh, we're in the kitchen of the da uh, Das Graduate School. Um, and this is a place where I also study because uh, I'm organizing this global academy, but I'm also still a master's student uh, in creative producing. All right, Hilde, well, thank you for being here. And uh, I think the first question that uh, the audience would like to uh, hear from you, it's, uh, are you single? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that doesn't no. help with, uh, <laughs> with the Italian stereotype. Maybe, maybe I'll cut this. Uh, first question would be, mm -hmm. the Global Academy wants to gather people from all around the globe to tackle different issues regarding the food uh, system. How do you think that this program can inspire uh, this young participant to actually uh, make a change? Yeah, um, well I think uh, it is super inspiring to meet other change makers like yourself. So uh, when we get all these participants together in one place and they have all these different perspectives, I think that is really energizing and inspiring uh, to keep on making change and to find new solutions uh, to impact the food system and make it more food clean and fair. Alright, great. What do you think is so innovative about the academy model? Um, well, what I think is really uh, beautiful about the Swin Academy is that uh, it um, aims to gather youth that wants to make a change in the food system and they learn not only by just reading or having keynote speakers but also really t by uh, visiting farms, by visiting other producers, uh, talk about uh, innovation, politics, tradition, um, taste and all those things combined. Uh, are really important and I think this holistic view uh, on the food system and this uh, way of learning that is uh, uh, really by experience not only by theory I think that is, this is a really beautiful model uh, to learn and to make change. Wow, all right that's a lot, that's a lot. in one <laughs> question, wow and uh, yeah and so what is the the outcome that, that you are expecting from from this project? Uh, people from uh, all around the world have different uh, strategies, different ideas and on how to make change and I think that we can really learn from each other. Um, and hopefully this yeah, uh, diverse network of young change makers uh, will be able to uh, bring back their knowledge and experience and also yeah. build their local community to, to yeah. impact the food system over there. Yeah. It worked with Terra Madre after all. Right? Yeah. yeah so. Yeah. Is there any tip that you would like to give people from around the world to start their own academy? Um, yes, one thing is that we would really like to get in contact with you. Uh, we think that it's really uh, nice uh, if we can strengthen the this network of local academies. So uh, please sign up for our newsletter uh, and we can exchange contacts and learn from co coordinators of academies around the world. Um, on the other hand, one tip is to just start. Gather a group of young people that are uh, willing and eager to learn more about the food system, to learn more about change making. Um, and that can be really as simple as gather your friends and family, uh, arrange a, a trip to a local farmer, arrange a trip to a local restaurant, and really ask the people in the field about their experience and about their ideas uh, of a better food system. Uh, I think this is a really nice way to start. and. Uh, if you need any help, please get in contact with us and uh, 
we might give you some more tips to uh, uh, make this program uh, work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So just just do it. Yeah. Like this interview, like we were not ready because the, the, the microphone, maybe you didn't hear anything, we don't know. Well, the shot was beautiful, Ilde is gorgeous, but you know, focus on the positive sides and get it done. Yeah. All right? Okay. <laughs> you think we have enough? <laughs>